Hey guys, welcome back to Shiny Says. If you're new, welcome, welcome. And I hope you decide to stick around. So hit the subscribe button, you know, just pause the video one time. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell button so you're notified whenever I post a video. And yeah. So this video originally was going to be one of those videos where I just show what I got from my baby shower. But I feel kind of cringy about it. I don't know. I like to watch person's videos, but like me doing it myself i'm not a show-offy kind of person so it's kind of weird for me so i decided to put a twist on it and kind of combine two different videos in one so i'll be showing you things that i got from my baby shower like some some cute stuff and also sharing what i think is essential for you to add to your baby registry so that would be the main thing that i want you to get from this video but i'll still show off some of the things that i got you know, because they're cute. <laughs> so, yeah, let's just get into the video. Oh, before we get started though, just a little disclaimer. I am in my third trimester. I am pregnant. So if I sound breathy, like I can't breathe, or I don't look as excited as we go throughout the video, or something like that off about me, I know, you know, my skin being acting up. Y'all just bear with me, man. When it getting into it for real, for real this time. Some essentials that you would need that I think you should definitely, definitely, definitely put on your baby registry without a doubt. You will always need a... What's this called? <laughs> you will definitely need a baby diaper bag. I think they, they formally call it a diaper bag. And this is the one I got. It is so cute. It was on my registry, so of course I love it. But I just, I'm just grateful that someone bought it, you know. So definitely need a diaper bag. Um, I guess I could show you all it. Um, I don't have a link for it though, so I don't know. But it's from Soho. That's the name on the bag. I don't know if you could find it on Amazon or something like that. But it came from a local store. So the bag, I, the reason why I really like the bag, sorry y'all, the reason why I really like the bag, it came with so many inserts, so it has this little one here. Why do I feel like something in this? Man, wait, I didn't even see this part. So it has this insert, and then it also has this one here for the bottle, it's so cute. And then it has another insert here with the mesh for me. And then of course it has um, the changing pad to go with it. Oh, I like this one. It's in the changing pad. But it has a changing pad. And it also has this thing here for like like a divider to organize. Y'all organize y'all. That's like my thing. Um, and then it also has this hair like to snap on the bike for like a pacifier. I can just do that as beautiful. Yeah, so... That's why I really fell in love with the bag. It's really trendy. It doesn't look like the average baby bag, which I don't want. Like, I want to look stylish, you know. I still, you know, I still want to look fashionable. <laughs> and then, too, oh, I, I moved the changing pad. This isn't, this isn't supposed to be a review, y'all, but I, I'm so excited about this bag. But I thought this was so cool. I just realized this after I got the bag, so I didn't know that it had this feature. But this is the changing pad thing. It's like a regular changing pad. However, you could zip the bag down. So I hope y'all can find this somewhere on the internet because it's really cool in case you wanted it. But you could zip the bag down, right? And it has this flap. And I was like, why would they do this? And then I realized the Velcro on the changing pad. I get another breath. The Velcro on the changing pad, it only has one strip. So I was like, why would they have one part of Velcro? and nothing for you to like snap it onto. I thought it was just for folding sake. But no, I think the, the Velcro is for you to snap it onto this Velcro. And then the baby would have somewhere to lay in public. I can't really show you it now, but you get the drift. So I thought that was so cool. I've never seen that um, on regular bags. So yeah, that's a bag, y'all. Just the first item and I take so long. The next thing that's an essential that was on my registry was a sterilizer. This one here is the Dr. Brown. So this one here is just is a microwave steam sterilizer, the Dr. Brown's. 
natural flow. So you need a sterilizer, especially if you're going to have bottles and um, pacifiers and just stuff you want to. My light's freaking out. It's just stuff you want to like, you know, sterilize. You, you can make sure you have a sterilizer. And speaking of bottles, I intend to breastfeed, but I still want to still have bottles so that, you know, his dad can feed him, other person can feed him, I could just pump or whatever. And the bottles that I decided to go with are the Tommy Chippy, Closer to Nature. So these are them here, and I'm so happy that I got this. One of my really close friends, love her to death, she got me this kit. So this is the newborn starter kit that comes with two of the five ounces, two of the five ounce bottles, two nine ounce bottles, um, an extra slow flow nipple, a zero to six month pacifier, removable bottle handle, and a bottle and nipple brush. So yeah, even though I am planning to just breast, give him breast milk and not formula, um, I still wanted to have bottles and hopefully I don't need the formula, but if I do, then I still have bottles. But yeah, so definitely um, you want some bottles. And another thing that I think is an essential that I have right here is a bottle warmer. Now this is an electric, an electric warmer and a sterilizer in one and it's very easy to use they say, so it should be easy to use. Good to have one of these, make sure you put it on your registry. Now another thing, now this actually wasn't on, God is that you? This right here wasn't on my registry, but if you're able to put it on your registry, I recommend that you do it because I wanted to get one of these anyways. So the fact that someone thought of me, my dear friend, the fact that someone thought of me to like buy this, even though it wasn't on the registry and they didn't, they, they didn't even know that I was going to buy it myself. That really, you know, touched me, touched me. But this is the milk flow, it's a milk flow, it just says milk flow. But is it like a milk catcher kind of thing, like a breast pump? Okay, I was looking at the, the other language. So it's a milk flow one piece breast pump, hands free, and it has gentle suction. This is the Dr. Brown's version. I was gonna get Hakka, um, but they're basically the same thing. And yeah, I I just I'm just happy that someone got it. Sticking. So sticking to the whole kind of for mom I guess because that one isn't really for baby it's more so for the mom sticking to the mom theme I'm just gonna jump into this next thing this was actually on my registry so I'm happy again that some I'm just grateful that people just I don't know I'm just grateful for the gifts y'all but I'm happy that some, my one of my best friends got this for me she knows the struggle she's a mother and it's uh this is a Therapearl 3-in-1 breast therapy pack by Lan Lansano I think that's how you pronounce them. But yeah, and this is how it looks. So this is pretty much, you can use it hot or cold. You can, it says that you use it cold to reduce pain and swelling caused by engorgement. You use it hot to relieve plug ducts or master, mas, master type, master type. I can put it on the screen. And another essential would be to make sure that you have like some type of medical stuff. My friend who got me the, um, the, what you call that? The, why am I touching my boot? The breast pump. Um, she also got the, the bottle warmer and then she, like she really, oh, she outdid herself. But she got this as well and this is a medical, like a little medical kit. So just a little medical kit. It has the medicine dropper and a spoon. The Medi Nurser with a silicone nipple. Now I thought that was so cute. So this is it right here. So I thought that was so cool. So cool. And then it has infant nail clippers, a digital thermometer, nasal aspirator, and air syringe. So it has. This is a pretty cool kit from Nubi. It's the same um, brand as the One Touch Electric Warmer and Sterilizer. And of course, they have. I have, well, I actually received two of these. So I have extra 
nasal aspirators and medicine droppers. You can't have too many. You could have one in a bag, another bag, one at home, one at grandma's, you know, make sure you always got it. So they come in handy. Okay, so before I get into the clothing that I got, I just wanted to say that this person, they, they didn't buy anything for the baby, which is like, it was, it was different. They made history in terms of like baby showers in my books because but the gift was literally for me and it wasn't like the breast pump or the you know the, the the thing or like a nipple cream or anything like that where okay yeah you need it so i am literally so appreciative of this like they literally like thought about me she's a mother so she knows how this thing go but i wasn't expecting to get an actual gift for me at the baby shower so that was so touching and i don't know i, I just really like this and it's so soft so she got me some um, night dresses that came in robes. You can't even see it, the print. Oh, uh, it's not showing properly, but I'll, I'll do it up to the screen so you can see the print. But she got me two of them. So this is the night dress, and this is the robe. They're really, really like lightweight, soft, comfy. Of course, I tried them already. Nice. And then this is the other one. They're the same thing, but just different colors. Same style. Well, this color kind of show a little better on screen. But I was just so happy when I saw it. It was a different, like I say, it was very different when I opened it and I expected something for the baby, but it was just for me. So, really appreciate it. So, of course, you have to bathe the baby eventually. You know, maybe not right out of the hospital, you wipe them off. So you're going to need some washcloths and I definitely got a whole lot. Um, I have this four pack. I have another pack somewhere that ha that came in like eight or ten. And then I have this one here that has 24. So he's straight. Of course you're going to need a tub. So make sure you put at least one tub on your registry. I actually didn't put this on the registry. I didn't get a chance to because my mother decided that she was going to buy it before I got a chance to put it on the registry. But you know how grandmas go, they spoil the children. So this is how it looks, this is how the baby will look in it. It has a net for the newborn and then you can take it out. I'll just show you the different stages they have by, by the photos, it'll be easier. So yeah, you want to make sure that you have a tub. I absolutely love this. I mean, I love it. Hopefully he will love it. And he won't like cry and feel like he's being terrorized in it but yeah I, I, I like it so you know that's a good start but make sure you put a tub on your registry another essential thing that you want to make sure you have on your registry would be receiving blankets so I got some receiving blankets and some burp some burp cloths so I'll just show I'll show you the burp cloth I have to find it somewhere in the, in the crib but um these are the receiving blankets, some of the receiving blankets. He got a whole lot, which I'm so happy for because you go through them like nothing. I think we have like over 30 of them currently. So yeah. So these ones would be considered the burp cloths. They would be like smaller. But yeah, I mostly got the bigger receiving blankets. I have other another pack of like burp cloths somewhere that I got before my baby shower. I, yeah, I, I bought some baby stuff before the shower, so yeah. But um, I have some other burp cloths and I also still want to get like a few swaddle blankets because you know they're a little bit softer and stretchier for swaddling the baby. So I didn't receive any of the swaddles from my shower so I'll be getting those. But if you want to swaddle your baby then that would be something you definitely put on your registry as well. And still sticking to like burp cloths and blankets and stuff you'd want to make sure you have a, a like a a couple of thick blankets especially if where you are is cold but so far you know he has a few cute little ones yeah you want to make sure you have some thick blankets to maybe rest over them if they're in the car seat and it's cool or just for them to lay on the bed and have something soft you can just lay flat and make sure that you watch them you don't want them their nose and stuff to get into the blanket and they suffocate you. We don't want that, but still have nice soft. These are plush, by the way. They're plush, okay? <laughs> they are like they're plush. They're just... I wish I could have it for myself, but yeah. Make sure you have at least like a few. You don't have to have a whole lot, 
it's the receiving blankets that you really really need a lot of but just a few of those and then some other things would be obviously socks if you want to get a few mittens you could get mittens I think I only got one pack of mittens um, I'm not too big on those but I know they scratch they tend to scratch themselves especially when they just came out so yeah I would recommend getting a few mittens but when I show you the clothing, I'm going to show you why I don't really need them per se. Oh, I don't think I need them per se. But you want to also make sure that you have a lot of caps to make sure the heads are warm. I have some other ones laying around, but I don't feel like getting up and looking for them. So just make sure you have caps. And also, while I'm on the caps and socks and stuff like that, you want to get a, a variety of like sizes so this one here is zero to six months I know he has like probably like two to three newborn ones and then there's a few zero to three month caps that he has as well like I said they're laying around somewhere but you want to get different sizes in socks and caps and stuff like that because you don't know how tiny or big their head is going to be so yeah other stuff would be so make sure that you get put pacifiers on there um, maybe a few teething toys um some undershirts i have a pack of undershirts um there's some more over here they're different brands but you just want to make sure you have like sleeveless undershirts the ones with the short sleeve maybe a few long sleeves and when you're picking out your for your, your registry you want to make sure that you do different sizes so don't have all of them in newborn house a few newborn some zero to three months, some three months, six months. You want to make sure that you, you know, have a, a variety to kind of get you started at each stage. And speaking of that, we're going to go straight into the clothing. But while I'm talking about different stages, you want to make sure, like, for instance, I had nine month these white um, bodysuits from Carter's. This is nine months. So of course it's not going to wear them now, but at least I have something to start off with, with the little bodysuits, all white. You can never have too many of these. You can just throw this on and put on a cute little pants or whatever, you know. And then these are some more bodysuits. These ones are in three to six months. So cute. You know who, who bought this? She's going to be watching this and be like, I got them. I know how she go. But... This one says, smiles can change the world. This other one has be kind on it. But they're so cute. And like I said, they're in the, these ones are three to six months. So I made sure to put different sizes on the registry. Got some more three month stuff right here. This wasn't on my registry, but I was so happy when I got it. Because I actually glimpsed it somewhere and... It was so funny when I it was so funny when I opened the gift and I was like, what? This is what I was gonna get myself. But it wasn't on the registry, so it's another little This is so adorable. Is it even showing? There you go. I think this is so adorable, especially the, the feet too cute this one is also three months and then got some more three months so at three months he's pretty much like set to start up to start off oh if you like these all of these are actually from Carter's these ones here I love Carter's so I was so happy people were getting me Carter's if you like them, you can search on Carter's for them. I don't have any links. Sorry, because like I said, it wasn't an online registry directly from Carter's. This top, top is from Carter's as well. It comes with a bottom. I probably should have showed the whole outfit one time. But yeah, it came with a bottom. This is it here. This is the bottom and then another. And it comes with a, also a bodysuit so I could switch it out. And if you're watching my video, comment down below and say you got this. You know who you are. I'm not calling names. 
And people are going to say, you didn't call my name. I don't have that. So, he got plenty of outfits. And he even has nine months. So, this one is so cute. It's nine months. So, when you're picking out for your registry. This, this, see, some of these outfits weren't on my registry. And, like I say, my people's got taste, okay? But, you want to make sure that you choose, like, different sizes. When you're picking out clothing you don't want to get everything too tiny i know that the tiny newborns are really cute and you're like oh i have to have them all but like everybody keeps saying that they grow so fast and they don't get a chance to always wear all of the clothes you know so and then you they're newborns so why are you putting newborns in like a bunch of button-ups you know what i mean like why put them in onesies and bodysuits and the the um what do you call them sleeping plays and stuff like that like comfy stuff so that's what I'm gonna be focusing on but I'm happy he has a lot of these types of clothing for like three months and six months nine months where he's a little older I could dress him up and stuff but funny thing is he has this twice I bought it was me or my mother one of us I think it's my mom most likely she got him this exact outfit already but it's in three months and now he has it in 12 months so you know and then these are some more one of my best friends she, she she didn't buy anything small so these are actually 12 months so he he already has outfits waiting on him for 12 months at least three outfits not not much but the point is he has like an outfit in every stage at this point and then this one with the with the hippo is so cute and this one is in six months so like I said, he has like little outfits, cute outfits in every for every stage of his first year pretty much. Um, and I'm really grateful for that. It's just some more onesies, hair, these one are three to six months. But you get the point in terms of the essential um, things to put on your registry when you're picking out the actual clothing. You want to make sure that you get different sizes. But moving on, um, there's uh, some other stuff from Carter's. But oh, this is so cute. This one is in six months. Now I'm gonna need to find some overalls for myself so I can match him and be extra. Now this one right here, I'm gonna call, I'm not gonna call names, but you know who you are, I'm my nephew. God, this, he knows my style, okay? He knows, you know, the little Chuck Bass kind of thing. So I thought this is so cute. And the fact that it has like these flamingos on it, you know, I'm from the Bahamas, I'm Bahamian. So, you know, Look how tank this is. Bohemian pride, okay? A few other things I got were... Oh, I forgot these two. He got two track suits so far. I think it's not really showing... Okay, it's kind of showing the color. They're both from Carter's. The blue one is six months. And then this one here is three months. So you may be able to find these on the website. Um put in maybe in the search I don't know I don't have links sorry guys but if I ever order online then I'd be able to like put the links down below for you guys in the future another thing you may want to put on your registry will be a baby carrier I intend to get those like the rock ones for myself this is mostly for his dad um, I may use it here and there but I want to get the rock ones for while he's tiny so like kind of baby wear like he wear him around the home or whatever so yeah I'm gonna order that probably from Amazon I saw a few cute ones and then I got like a few of these these are like those travel the white case that you travel with you, you can put them in the bag and stuff like that so got like three of these gonna come in handy now this isn't an essential thing but put it on my registry and I was so excited that someone got me they actually got me and didn't say this is unnecessary you know so it's a security blanket and I thought it was so cute because you know growing up you had children who just would randomly choose a blanket or a stuffed animal or something that they can't live without they have to sleep with it they have to carry it wherever they go and so when I saw that you know it's actually becoming a thing where you actually see the word security blanket on the item I thought it was so cute it's from Gerber 
and yeah it's a hedgehog so 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 adorable i hope he likes it though because if he if he doesn't like this i'll be mad <laughs> I'm probably gonna put this in the hospital bag so you guys can pick up something in the hospital bag. I'm probably gonna put it in just in case he is. And this is another newborn outfit with the hat. Yeah, so cute. These are the only newborns I got at my registry. And, well, at the baby shower, I would say. And this one here is very near and dear. It's from Carter's actually as well. Um, those other ones that I just showed you. Are both Gerber but this one is from Carter's now if you find it on the website and has that is for girls on it it does say girls next to it but I don't care because it's gray <laughs> so that's gender neutral for me and my sister is obsessed with pandas so she definitely had to make sure that her gift was panda related and I ain't even mad because this is so adorable so he will be wearing this I don't care that it had girl on it Okay, he's gonna be wearing this. So it has a long sleeve one. Come on, focus. It has a long sleeve one. White with the little pandas on them. And then it has the short sleeve one. The short sleeve one with stripes with the little pandas on them as well. And then the panda butt pants. <laughs> so, so, so adorable. Okay. So yeah. Oh, and the reason why I was telling you guys that I don't really care too much for the mittens is because... All, just about all, I think. Yeah, just about all of us newborn onesies or what do you call it, sleep and play kind of things have like the fold over thing on the hand. It cuffs over the hand. So you don't really need a mitten per se for majority of the newborn clothing. So that's why I didn't really care too much for the mittens. But I have one, I did put one pack on it. Um, before I end what I got from my baby shower, I just re realized that this was actually on the registry as well, I think. I can't remember if it was on the registry or not, but I know for a fact that I recommend you put it on your registry for yourself. And that would be breast pads. These are the washable ones. Whether you want the washable, disposable, whatever ones, you know, suit you. Or is your preference, just make sure that you put it on the registry as well. You want to put a few things on there for your aftercare because why not, you know. And then after the shower, depending on what person's got, what they didn't get, then you would know what you need to buy yourself. So I still have a few things that I would like to go um, back to the stores and get myself that I didn't receive from off of my registry or that I may have forgotten to put on the registry. So one thing would definitely be like a, a, a thermos. Um, I didn't initially put it on there because like I said I want to breastfeed but having warm water even if it's just for you to carry hot water around for yourself while you're out you may want to carry a tea bag you know some tea bags or something hot cocoa or whatever to make sure that you have something hot in you for when you go and breastfeed you know you don't have gas to pass on to the baby and stuff like that so the thermos still will come in handy whether you are using it for to make formula or not yeah so maybe put that on your registry as well now these ones weren't on my registry which is why I saved them for the last but I wanted to show them anyways I mean they, I didn't get them from my baby shower that's what I meant so that's why I saved them for the last but my mom she got him some Christmas gifts mind you his gifts were like the only gifts under the Christmas tree pretty much but she got him a few Christmas gifts and picked up some things for him as well. And I thought I would just show it because it's so cute. So he got these, this little cardigan. And then this zero to three months like little bundle kind of thing. So it has a bib, cap, some little, I think these are socks, yeah, some little booties um and then the pants and the top button up top it's so cute i'm uh, speaking of booties i got one pair of booties from my friend they are so cute so i'm just gonna put them in on the screen i actually got this during my shower so yeah forgot about this this is so cute but yeah i got these for he got these i got these no he got these for like christmas and stuff and then this is what i was talking about with my mom 
And I said he has two of the same outfit. This is the three month one my mom got for him. So yeah, he's loved already and already spoiled. But yeah, those are, I'm pretty sure I'm missing some things. Um, and I'll remember it after I, this video probably goes up. But there are other things that I got personally before my shower that I'm not going to show. Now, one thing that I don't have hair to show because I had it on my registry. And I don't know if it's just a cultural thing. Um, I had some gowns on the registry. And I feel as though it's a cultural thing where the humans are like, why does girl have these gowns on this for this baby boy? You know, I don't think some of the like older generation kind of get it. <laughs> But I put some gowns on the registry to, you know, help with changing in the middle of the night, not having to do too many buttons and stuff like that. So I didn't get any of the gowns off of my registry for my shower, but I will be going back to purchase them. Like I said, I don't know if it's a cultural thing. If it was a girl, maybe persons would have gotten it. But because it's a boy, I think they were like, this is a dress, so I'm not buying this for him. So I'm going to go and get the gowns. So I do recommend that you get gowns for, you know, easy access to the baby's diaper when you're changing in the middle of the night. It's comfy. Going to end the video right here. I don't know how long it is. If it's too long, I, I apologize. Hopefully you at least like, enjoyed it. And yeah, comment down below. Let me know if there are any things that I missed. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!